little side project I started yesterday that I've been procrastinating and putting off for far too long is insulating the well house. So I started doing that yesterday, forgot to bring the camera, and today's the second day. I'm just uh, putting foam board in it. I put a layer of radiant barrier down on the floor, foil bubble foil, and then a layer of foam board. And I'm basically lining everything with foam board. And then I'm gonna put the pressure tank back in and insulate that. I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so I popped the roof off and just started lining it. Kind of like a styrofoam cooler. Um, pulled the tank out, disconnected all that mess. The uh, ground underneath was wet and it started heaving up when it froze. And so I figured we need to get this all buttoned up before that becomes a big problem. Even though we're not using this other than to haul water every once in a while and then I drain it, but we don't want it to have any more problems. So, like I said, underneath the floor is a uh, foil bubble foil and then a layer of one inch foam board all the way around. Now I'm going to do the inside of this roof. Running out of daylight, so I just got back from Lowe's where I got everything I need. So we'll get some done today and probably finish up tomorrow. Okay, hope this is good enough. Should be pretty tight. Once we get it all back together. That gap right there is uh, because that has to sit up against another stud, so that'll actually be sealed when the roof is back on. Uh, I think I got all the cracks sealed. All the inside is done, uh, I think. thing I've learned is before you take stuff apart like this take, take a picture of it so that you know how to wire it back up
Well, I guess we'll hook the hose up, fire up the generator, and see if it works. leaking on that end cap right there and a little bit right there you gotta fix that okay this project is finished uh, I got fixed the leaks and put on some pipe insulation where I could and I think we're good to go now Let's see everything is pretty tight certainly much better insulated than it was and now i got to figure out a heat source to keep it from freezing when it does drop below freezing and i think until i get uh power hooked up i'll probably just put like a little kerosene lamp in here and on days that it's going to freeze i'll just come up light it set it in here uh, i don't have to worry about any wind hitting it or anything when the doors close because it's pretty pretty tight so that's that on to the next thing well, so much for all the pretty fall colors. Everything is brown. So tomorrow we're going to start waterproofing the basement with peel and stick membrane and drain board. Um, all the way from the ground level up to finished grade level. So this very top won't have waterproofing on it. But, you know, where the finished grade will be down to the uh, foundation footer will be waterproof so we're gonna start that tomorrow so before I can do that I have to go around and pull these stickers off and sort of clean up the outside of the wall a little bit we'll put some sort of adhesive on the wall first so that the peel and stick sticks um, but we want to clean it up as best we can before our guys get back to do that tomorrow so that's what I'm gonna do now when we were pouring the basement walls something I forgot to film because it was pretty chaotic but I had made these forms out of plywood and OSB, 2x4s, whatever, so that uh, we could take extra concrete and pour these little slabs for the air conditioning condenser units. And all this is just extra that we washed out. So this is what we had left of the 40 yards in the truck. So if you want uh, to make little slabs or pavers or step stones, you know, use the concrete because they're just going to throw it out on the ground. So that's what we did. So this video is kind of just random stuff, uh, getting ready for the waterproofing. Uh, we poured the walls Friday, which was five days ago. Today's Wednesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, five days ago. So these walls have cured pretty well. We can take the bracing off, all this bucking, all this mess. Uh, so I'm going to open this doorway up so we can get in and out because my back is not happy about trying to get in that little spider web. So I'm going to yank this off. There, see? Much better. Now I can walk through the freaking door. Alright. I'm gonna get these stickers off the wall. Okay, I got all the stickers pulled off and all the lumber strapping that was holding the seams together because we're really pretty well cured now. Uh, so we'll be able to start waterproofing bright and early in the morning. That'll be the next video and we'll see you then.